Hello, my name is Lori Alexander, and today I'm going to be talking about breastfeeding. <laughs> Yesterday I posted a few, and in the past, in all the years I've been writing, I'll post about breastfeeding modestly, and I just received such a huge backlash. I received a huge black backlash on a lot of things I write, but this one is always surprising to me, even among Christian women, why they would have such a revulsion to being taught to be modest and discreet while breastfeeding. I had four babies and I breastfed fed them all for almost a year or a year, depending on which baby it was. And I never ever showed my breast to anybody else but my husband. And I would breastfeed openly in my home because my little children were small. My sons were older, I would have covered up. But I, in public, I always covered up. I either went to my car or I had a blanket over me or something. There was no way I was gonna show my breast to anybody else, and especially other men. That I just was way too modest about that. <laughs> that was kind of something natural inborn to me. I always liked to be modest. I would, even in my own home, I wouldn't run around in my bra and underwear. I always wore clothing and I always wanted to be covered up except for in high school when I wore bikinis, but for some reason that was acceptable. And I, even then I felt very uncomfortable. Even I couldn't parade around in my bikini or anything, but I would wear one. I wasn't, I wasn't, I think if someone told me that I shouldn't wear them, I would have been convicted and say, you're probably right. Cause I do not feel comfortable in them. <laughs> but if you think about it, when Adam and Eve were in the garden and sinned, they covered up their private parts, that's it. But then God came and covered up their bodies. He wanted them to be modest. He commands women to be modest, to be discreet, to be shamefaced, not to draw attention to ourselves. But for some women, there's a there's a disconnect between breastfeeding and just openly showing your breasts. They think they would think pornography is wrong. They think men looking at naked women is wrong, and they would be aghast thinking their men were looking at naked women and looking at their breasts. But for some reason, it's okay if there's a baby attached to it, to um, nurse your baby in public, to whip out your breasts and nurse your baby. But it's still a breast women. Men are attracted to breasts. And it, even when I see a woman openly nursing in public, it's uncomfortable. It's shameful. We're not, we're supposed to be covered. It's not shameful that she's nursing the baby. It's shameful that she's not being modest and discreet in her nursing. And then women will say, well, do you want us to go to the bathroom with a car? You know, it's like they all get all mad at me because I'm teaching what God words, what God commands of them. Do you know that obeying God isn't always comfortable? It's not always convenient and it's not always easy but our desire should still be want to want to obey God, even when nursing our babies. I stayed at home a lot when my babies were young, but if I went out, I would nurse them before we left. And if I had to nurse them while we were gone, I was modest. I covered them up with a blanket. We didn't have the fancy things they have today, um, but I do whatever it took to be completely covered, not for any chance that, that anyone could get a glimpse of my breasts. I just, that would have been shameful to me, and I would have been very ashamed of that happening. So I was always very careful. Of course, accidents can happen, and that's different. But if you're consciously and thinking about being modest and discreet, even while nursing your baby, you can do it. Because where there's a will, there's a way. And we are commanded to be modest by our Lord and our Savior. And a breast and is a breast to a man. I'm sorry, women. It just is. You're not going to try to convince them otherwise. And women will say, what about other countries? They've just breastfeed them openly. It's like, well, we don't look at other countries. Look, We look at God's words for our instructions. We are to be set apart and holy. We're to glorify God in all that we do. And yes, that means even breastfeeding our baby. Breastfeed your baby discreetly, modestly and with shamefaced. Do not, you don't want other men, you don't want your husband looking at other women's breasts. You would not want your good friend coming over to your house, whipping out her, pulling up her shirt and breastfeeding her baby in front of your husband. Don't give other women and otherwise that same consideration. Do not breastfeed in front of another man if there's 
you know, a chance of being exposed. Find some place, turn on your back, do something you where you can do it modestly. We're different women. We walk a narrow path that leads to life. We don't we aren't on the broad path to destruction. Feminism is the ones that came in and said, burn your bras, nurse openly. You know, they're the ones who taught women to be immodest, wear bikinis, wear skin tight, do whatever you want, dress however you want, nurse however you want. We don't live like that. We live according to God's instruction book, his word, because his ways are perfect. So if you're nursing your baby, make sure you do it modestly. And if, if, because the Lord says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Those all things are his commands. We can do everything he asks of us. You pray for wisdom, guidance, but do it. Be a rebel in this culture. <laughs> rebel against the wicked ways of our culture in every area. Love your husband. Obey your husband. I listened to a great sermon by Costi Hinn last night on 1 Peter 3, 1-6. through 6. I'll be writing a post on it next week. It was fabulous. But um, he's got it right on about teaching women to be godly, submissive, women with meek and quiet spirits. Let's strive to be that way. And we can be because his spirit works mightily within us. <laughs> Make sure you're renewing your mind with God's truth daily, though, taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>